Good evening. This is Kevin Sweeney filling in for Jeff Bixby, who's making a little history of his own this week. We start out this week with December 8th, the birthday of Norman Douglas, born in Scotland in 1868. He was the author of South Wind. In a way, it tells his own story of how he left his wife and settled on the island of Capri to take up the gay life, and quite openly too. He also compiled an anthology of graffiti collected in several languages from the walls of public toilets all over Europe. On December 9th, we have journalist Lucius Beebe, born in Wakefield, Massachusetts in 1902. He wrote a popular society column in the 1930s called This New York. Beebe is said to have been fond of inviting luscious young things to his private railroad car for what he called whiskey and sofa. On December 10th, we have the birthday of Emily Dickinson, the world-known poet. Now, for many years, there's been a great deal of speculation about her sexual orientation. Several years ago, uh, a biographer by the name of Rebecca Peterson dared to suggest that she was a lesbian, and she was fried for it in public. How could such a great American writer be a lesbian? Well, there are many people who think that the great poet was in fact a lesbian, but the official story remains the same as that innocently told about grammar teachers, that their uh, boyfriends died in the war and decided to remain old maids. Also on December the 10th is a Cincinnati favorite, Scott Sostry, better known as Hurricane Summers, who is celebrating his, her, 21st birthday all over again. It must be the 20th time as far as I can tell. Happy birthday, Scott. Finally, on December 11th, we have Quentin Crisp, who was born in Southampton, England in 1908. He's the notorious writer of a, a book called The Naked Civil Servant. Now, in, uh, during the Blitz, when other civil, uh, Britishers were convinced that civilization had come to a grinding halt, Young Crisp, replete with hennet hair and mascara eyes, was thanking God for the presence of GIs who found him as attractive as, and infinitely cheaper, than the other London tarts. Well, that's all we have for this week. Next week, we'll have Mr. Bixby back. Good evening.